welcome back to my channel. My name is Ainora, if you're new to my channel. If you're my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today I would like to discuss bags that I will not buy no matter the hype, or bags I just don't like it and I won't buy, even though they're very, very popular, and um, even though maybe sometimes I think about it, of getting it, but still there's something that does not make me want to get these bags. Just a little disclaimer, if you own some of these bags, please, please, please don't come back to me and say, how can you say this? This is totally fine. We're all different. We all have different uh, tastes in, in, in anything in life. And if I like, if I don't like these bags, that doesn't mean that that's really bad that you have it. Or I might have bags that you don't like it at all. So that's just totally fine. Please, no hate. The first bag is from Prada, and this bag has been really popular right now. And it is the newest Prada. I don't know the name, but I'm gonna pick, put a picture here. And I don't like this bag at all. I've seen this in my in the in Dubai Mall recently, and it's such a in, impractical bag. It looks so thin and I feel like you wouldn't fit much at all. You would fit some certain things and you would just have to like literally uh, place your things vertically on top of each other. So because this bag doesn't have any like room or any, it's not wide, it's very thin. The leather is very shiny and it seems like it's very delicate. I feel like this bag has no personality and it's boring. It's my opinion. The second bag I want to mention is from Gucci. Uh, I don't own anything from Gucci as of now, but once in a while I do peek in and see what it, what they have. Um, but um, the recent one, the, the Jackie, I actually, when I saw it first time, I, I it caught my eyes, in, especially in this color, in this beautiful turquoise, uh, beautiful color. I really wanted uh, to look at it, but then when I went there, it actually didn't really speak to me at all. I, for, for me personally, I don't like bags that do not have any like zipper or any, any, anything to close the bags. That I just don't like that. And, um, and then it just looks a bit boring as well to me and um, it wouldn't fit much. It, it's a bit thin. The bag is very classic. I've seen the vintage ones and I don't mind to get a vintage one, but for, for me personally, the Jackie, doesn't really make me want to get this bag at all. It's not that that's special to me and I feel like it's I'm gonna if I'll buy it now I won't be using it later on and I'll just get tired of it. Another bag from Gucci is they recently came out with this Gucci Dionysus in the uh, denim I think. They have it in denim with the like uh, Gucci logo and with a brown trim. It just like it looks just like Dionysus, but in the denim version. I love denim bags, and I wish I owned some denim bags. I I'm still looking for a perfect denim bag. And when they came out with this, I was like, oh my gosh! Finally, I I think I found my perfect denim bag. But then when I looked again, I actually owned Dionysus before, and I just didn't like the strap. That it's full chain and I just it full chain strap is no for me at all. I don't like it because I just have a very sensitive um, shoulders and I just don't like when my hair is on the way with the chain and everything. And uh, yeah, so it's a no for me because of the chain and I don't like the brown against the denim. It's just like I don't like it at all brown and denim it just doesn't speak to me in the bag and then they have it in like um, silver hardware so it's just kind of like it doesn't really make sense to me the whole like combination I mean the bag is cute I like the style and I like the denim version but the brown uh, trim and then everything else is just too much I feel like they just gone wrong with this style so it's a no for me the next bag from Christian Dior and it is book tote any size of book tote I'm not gonna get it at all this is because of um, 
the textile of the bag is just it's a material it is it is a canvas but it's like it's it's not a leather and buying and buying that bag for such a enormous amount of money and getting just like a piece of cloth that's that's just my opinion i don't like the bag the the shape of the bag i don't like it and i don't like how it, ne it can never be closed. You cannot close with anything. It's just open bag. And, then, and to me, it looks like a grocery shopping bag. I have like many, many grocery shopping bags that I take to, to the grocery with me. And they look exactly the same as this book tote. And it just doesn't really appeal to me at all. Paying that much for a textile bag, no, that's not for me at all. The next bag from Dior as well, it's a bobby bag. Uh, I don't know. I really tried to like this bag, but it's just not me. The style of the bag is more like a very casual, and although I'm very casual as well, I still don't like like the saddle look of the bag. It just seems to me very mm, specific uh, style, and I will have a hard time styling. Just specifically to me, I just I'll have a very hard time styling the bag. The body bag is, is a very casual a bag, but yet the leather is like, you can just easily can scratch the, the leather. I will be very scared because I want my casual, usual casual bags to be very sturdy, um, like my pochette mitis. Uh, but this one is, it just seems like bobby bag. I wouldn't be able to wear my bobby, uh, any bobby bag with like a nice dress. So I, I'm just imagining myself wearing it with jeans, but then going out for like like for errands. I, I wouldn't want my usual casual bags to have such a, uh, like a calfskin leather, but like a box box leather, I think it's called, where you can just easily scratch. I also looked at bobby bag in the canvas, but as I said before, I'm not a really like canvas textile bag person, so it, it is look it looks nice, but I, it's not for me at all. The next bag is from Louis Vuitton. It's a petite mal souple or supple. Um, I looked at this bag and I just didn't get it at all. First of all, the bag looks a bit like, I don't know, it just looks a bit weird and it's, it has only one handle and it just seems like they forgot to add another handle. And I know they tried to make this bag a very casual bag, but still it doesn't speak to me at all. I just feel like they wanted to make something and this came out of it like it, it's a bag that they didn't think of it much and i wish they thought a little bit more so this the bag would be more useful and more like likable so it's no for me it doesn't speak to me at all and i feel like it's a bag it's going it's going to be a trendy bag and it's not going to be classy at all and a lot of people just gonna forget about it in a very short time. Another bag that doesn't speak to me is a petite sack flat. I tried it and it's a really cute bag but it's such an impractical bag. So tiny and doesn't fit much. I mean and I just don't like the vachetta, too many vachetta on it. It's a bag that doesn't really speak to me. Uh, the size is just too small and first second of all you can't close the bag so what if you just accidentally um what if you accidentally drop your bag and everything will be just all over the floor no for me at all the bag from louis vuitton that i will not buy is a louis vuitton point nine i think it's called i'm not sure but this bag is just it just doesn't speak to me at all it's a boring bag, it doesn't do anything, and the size of the bag is actually pretty good, but I really, really prefer um, other bags uh, more. Like, instead of getting this bag, I would get something. My Dior, like 30 Montaigne, is actually a lot more nicer. The one that with the chain that I unboxed it very recently. I think that bag has more personality to it, but this bag is just doesn't really speak like oh it is from Louis Vuitton. Um, it's so such a boring bag, and, and the leather is actually is like a box uh, leather, 
and it's very scratch prone so I wouldn't want my bag to be such a fragile bag uh, for that much that cost uh, to be scared to use it it's just I just don't like the logo on it it just doesn't look doesn't look like a Louis Vuitton bag I don't know what's going on with Louis Vuitton sometimes they just make such a blah bag such a boring bag I feel like Louis Vuitton it, uh, st should stick to their like an edgy classic still edgy bag uh, but when they come out with these boring um, with these boring uh, styles I just I was like I'm, I question like why Louis Vuitton why are you trying to be like someone else and recently I discovered another bag I'm gonna show it here uh, I actually commented on during the vlog that this one doesn't look like from Louis Vuitton and I don't get it. I don't get it either. Do you get it? Like why? Why are you making this Louis Vuitton? The next bag is from Balenciaga. It is the City bag. I really really liked it uh, a while ago. I really wanted to get in like a croc uh, embossed uh, mini or like a nano size. I really wanted to get it but then I think um, in a while, in a little while, I kind of uh, just fed up with it. Uh, I just don't like it. It just seems a bit like, uh, I don't want to be like rude here at all, but it just seems, for me, it just seems a bit immature. If I was a little younger, like in my teens, in my 20s, it would have been a great bag. I wish I got when I was younger, but now when I'm in 30s, it just doesn't speak to me at all. Um, it, there's so many bags that I like better, so I'm not into the city bags from Balenciaga. The next bag is from Balenciaga as well. It's an hourglass bag. I actually liked the hourglass in the beginning when they came up. I just love the shape, very unique shape. I really appreciate unique shapes. So. When they came out with this, I quickly ran to Balenciaga and took a peek at it and like tried it on and I really liked it, but then the size was like no for me. It was just too tiny and it just didn't fit much at all. And the, the shape uh, is just a bit kind of weird that you don't, it just seems like you can fit much more, but when you actually put, you, when you actually start putting things, it doesn't fit because of the weird shape so because it's just a bit too structured and it just doesn't speak to me at all it just seems like an hourglass is very trendy and I feel like it's going to be um, nice for like a couple of seasons and then it's gonna go out of style and nobody's gonna remember the, this bag at all next bag is from Valentino I used to own a couple of Valentino bags but I sold them and I don't know because of the I really like Valentino and I wish I, I owned something from Valentino but lately I haven't been in love with Valentino at all and uh, lately I showed in the vlog their new bags uh, with huge huge rock stars like enlarged uh, like big ginormous spike like a rock star spike bags they are more like supple, they are more like squishier, uh, but the studs are just so ridiculous. I don't know why they did this. This was a, such a bad decision for Valentino and that's a no for me for sure. Next bags are from Bottega Veneta. I love Bottega Veneta and I wish I had a bag from Bottega Veneta. I used to own one, but I returned it. It's like a... You'll see it in my channel. I unboxed it. It was a pre-loved vintage one, but then I returned it because of the color. I just couldn't style it. But I'd, I'd love to own something from Bottega. Maybe a cassette bag, maybe like a little, like a pouch bag. But not, not many bags are for me from Bottega. The, the bag that is not for me, no, 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 at all, is a big pouch from Bottega that has no handles. It's just a big, big, big cloud. And I just don't get it. I just don't like anything without a handle. I don't like to be busy and to have a huge, like a huge bag in my armpit. It's like no for me. I just, when I'm always like hands-on, I'm always with kids 
or, or I have my phone on my hands all the time. I don't want to carry my bag with my one hand and then on my other hand my phone or my kids. So this, this bag is so impractical. I know people use it for like night out, but even for a night out, I don't want anything in my armpit and sweating it on top of it, you know? No for me at all. The next bag from Bottega Veneta is anything with just ginormous chains. It's cassette bag with huge, huge chains and very heavy. I looked at it, I showed it on my vlog. It's such a beautiful, I love it from afar, I admire it, but it's such an impractical bag. Uh, it's so loud and it's so heavy and I wouldn't be able to wear it at all anywhere and I'll be so annoyed. So it's a no for me. The second bag, I've actually considered buying it. It's a pouch with a chain. Uh, the chain is not much there. It's a little bit smaller there. It's a little less chain, but overall the bag is beautiful. I've been considering it, but I still didn't, just didn't get it. And I feel like it's just not for me uh, because of the... I think it's because of the chain probably is just not for me. I can tolerate the chain on my ninth Chanel 19, but when it's just like that much and it's a very shiny chain, I don't know if I can just, if I can style it right. Last bag in my list is a Mulberry Alexa bag. Uh, any Alexa bag from Mulberry or I think any bag from Mulberry doesn't really speak to me at all. It's just not my style at all. I like something, I like bags to be classic but still edgy, but Mulberry bags are, there's not much edgy, edginess to it at all. It just very, it just seems very boring and very like safe bag. And I do have a lot of safe bags, but still I need to like, I need to have a little bit of edginess. I like classic bags, and but Mulberry is just a bit too boring for me and too classic. I don't know. It's I don't know how it's called the style, but the the style I just the Mulberry style I just don't get it, and it's just no 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 for me at all. So I think I covered most of very very popular bags as of now, and uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna pass on these bags. And if you'll see me getting one of these bags, that means I just changed my mind. Uh, we can do that. We are just, we're human. And today we're gonna like one thing, tomorrow we might hate it, or the next day we might love it back. So it's totally fine. Uh, hopefully this, was, this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. I show a lot of styling uh, pictures and outfit of the days. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.